I think, I think that's a great question because too often people assume it's a matter of, um, of intuition or some sort of gift or a rapport with children and and those things you know matter to some extent but good teaching is knowledge based I, mean, I think a good teacher knows his or her subject knows knows the disciplines and also knows um, theories of teaching knows about um, the research and what it says about how children develop and how they learn I know um, I had a meeting with the governor of my state who poo-pooed uh, teachers having to read or know anything about Piaget or Vygotsky or you know any theorist, and I said, but you know those are the basis for every relationship I have with my students. You know my understanding of what, for for example, when Vygotsky says, um, you know the, that um, that children learn in collaboration and cooperation. To think about how I can collaborate with kids so that that becomes possible and so you know for example my my writing conferences with students and reading conferences are direct outgrowth from thinking what does that look like in an english classroom and so so it's the, it's the knowledge of how children develop and the disciplines and then it's it's knowledge of of um of one's own beast and my beast for 40 years uh, were 12 and 13 year olds and i can tell you everything about who they are as learners and then the final kind of knowledge is um, we have to structure our teaching so that we get to know every single one of those kids in the class, no matter what the developmental level is. And if, if we're not um, trying to acquire those three kinds of knowledge, I think we're just acting as technicians and not as reflective practitioners.